I am back. I hope everyone uh, watching this is having a wonderful day. Uh, no matter what time it is, where you are, when it is that you watch this. Uh, right now it is 4.41 a.m. in Calgary, Alberta. And it's another late night stream or early morning, depending uh, when you watch this and where you are. But today we're going through writing on stone. Uh, UNESCO World Heritage Site, which I believe is a megalithic site. And I also believe it's been covered up like so many others uh, out there. And also, of course, see faces, more pareidolia, or do we have faces that actually kind of seems like this was covered up with some sort of plaster or mortar cement and uh as i get into the pictures and we take a closer look it's covering up the blocks basically i believe it's covering up evidence of blocks and megaliths and human construction or intelligent construction one way or another good day ray car uh blue star 84 and the 15 other uh beautiful souls watching right now thank you all for being here uh not sure where you're coming in from maybe it's australia new zealand or somewhere in the middle of the day or maybe it's the middle of the night like here and you're a night owl like me either way thank you for joining in and welcome let me know what you think. And so writing on Stone uh, Park, it's got world famous and it's a UNESCO site due to all of the petroglyphs on it, several of them uh, being dated thousands of years and several others uh, just from the 1800s uh, documenting the wars with the natives, the indigenous against uh the rcmp or the canadian um i guess police authorities either way it's quite the sight good day anki reality not what you thought welcome and let's uh dive in a little bit more all right so this picture here is from the very top of the site um and then there's these hoodoos these badlands and they literally go on for i believe a hundred kilometers like 40 or 50 kilometers uh both both ways up and down uh the river i forget the name of the river right now for some reason slips my mind always when you go live you tend to forget the specific details but that's uh, that's life all right so you can also see on the opposite side of the river um equal amount of these structures and what i find fascin most fascinating about this site is the similarities and the resemblance of like Cappadocia in Turkey, a specific area that has and well known for its underground cities uh, and ancient um, infrastructure and how much this site resembles that as well as sites in Afghanistan, um, Pakistan, India, China, uh, the U.S. as well, literally all over the world, any of these badlands, but in South or Asia, um, in the East Orient, it's recognized as human constructed runes, where in the West, they try to pawn it off all as natural, uh, going to such extents as destroying and um, even what I believe to be covering up with uh, facades on some some of the sites. All right. 
sorry, a lot of pictures of the same thing here, but we will go through the whole album and hopefully find some gems. Uh, another awesome, awesome aspect of this site is the campground uh, beneath it at the bottom of the base uh, next along to the river. Uh, and you can see a couple people camp in here. And then you got the hundreds of kilometers of trails uh, throughout this site. And as you get into the photos, you see it more and more resemblance to uh, sites like Cappadocia and that look like literal melted buildings with underground documented cities such as oh my goodness get the name already in turkey uh daring kuyu is that the city i think so and these quote-unquote hoodoos as uh they're called uh also some called cherry fim fairy chimneys uh the, at this place on writing stone some of them go five six stories tall uh it, it's just crazy uh the scope and size of them and many of them resembling straight sandstone blocks like you see in egypt and the pyramids and many other of the ancient sites around the world. And it's just such a massive, massive site. As we continue through here, and it's like, it just goes on and on and on on both sides. The Milk River, that's what it's called. It is the Milk River that uh, runs through writing on stone. And these badlands, these potential ruins on both sides of the Milk River, and they truly, truly resemble melted buildings and castles. Uh, many of them with what seem to be caves, windows, doors, uh, tunnels, and you can spend a lifetime, literal lifetime, exploring this place and probably never find all of its hidden gems. But I will be going back this summer, and hopefully uh, many of you will be joining, and we turn it into a meetup and expedition one well worth going to and I'll also play some of the little videos oh never mind that one is a very short video wasn't meant to be a video but there are several shorts throughout this album that i will be playing uh here you kind of see in what could be a face could be pareidolia But it's, it's just too many coincidences of how many faces seem to appear in what are called natural formations over and over and over again. Uh, here's a spot that's been graffitied a bunch. I believe there was petroglyphs on this one, but most of the petroglyph sites you have to book a tour for, which uh, will be part of what I'm doing when I go back this summer. And they take you to several closed off areas of petroglyphs dating back some several thousands of years and some from uh, just the 1800s. The true scope of the size of this place, just it, the pictures don't do it justice. Uh, 
very strange features, anomalous features, what look like carved uh, potential formerly inhabited and used built sites and properties in these ruins. They try to claim that birds are responsible for all of these little holes uh, when in fact the swallows that they claim made them uh, I'll show some pictures where you'll see that they actually build their nests out of the rock using mud. They don't actually tunnel in. So right there brings up questions and then lots of um what could be astronomical alignments um kind of looking like coral castle style oh is the sound working i'm not sure if the sound's playing on the video doesn't appear to be oh no not let me not let me play the sound is oh wow that's one choppy video hey eh? oh uh, it's not even playing is it Bloody yuck. I guess it is. Is it playing? But as the video hopefully plays, uh, you can kind of, yeah, no sound. That Sorry about that. But I guess you can just hear me talk over it. Uh, hopefully some of the scale um is evident here as i walk through like probably three to four story um stories tall these structures being and oh welcome old gaffer from the uk good to have you and here you can see as I'm walking up with my dog Titu, shout out Titu, best puppy in the land. Uh, this one right here, this face, you can clearly see uh, what appear to be giant sandstone blocks and that it is actually made of blocks. Um. So weird what is showing on screen and what is showing what I think is what, what the heck? So strange. All right. Guess it froze again. We will just. There. Okay. I understand what happened. Or do I? Why is it freezing? Okay. Oh, there we go. There we go. I think it finally switched. No. What? Bloody heck. Sorry, everyone. Technical difficulties. Hey, good day, Gerald. WPG and Light for Truth. Good to see you, my man. All right. So you guys were able to see the blocks in it. Like, I'm not just uh, seeing things. You're able to also see the blocks uh within these structures 
and what appear to be actual block works, uh, not natural, not natural at all. And the similarities to, I have to keep pointing out, Turkey, Cappadocia areas uh, and what are documented mountain hill underground cities, the potential that that is also what we're looking at here. And that these are clearly blocks, like it's blocks everywhere, block, block, block. It's not just natural sandstone. You're, you can see the lines throughout. And yes, it's heavily weathered, heavily eroded, but there's clear blockage all the way into the structures, like throughout the entireness of it, it is blocked. And it looks like it is built block by block, right? Like it, this is looking like giant megalithic structures, not naturally formed. And here we have some of these ancient petroglyphs that are actually visible uh, on the main trail close up. But it appears that they covered up and destroyed some of the main uh, or larger ancient petroglyphs and without a shadow of a doubt also occurring on what seemed to be giant blocks. And yes, Gerald, I believe we will. And you will find them, we will find them. Come with me this summer. Come out and let's do it, because I'm going back. We might as well go there together, because this site, it's its something else. It, it, uh, it is an anomaly and then some. And here you can see it's the classic polygonal style sandstone blocks throughout. And... I'm glad I was actually able to get the pictures of the blockage, the blocks, and the artificial uh, construction that this site truly is. Maybe it's geopolymer, uh, maybe it's cast, maybe it's carved, but either way, it appears to be symmetrically stacked blocks throughout. Just very heavily eroded. Interesting anomaly here. Kind of looks like a face within it, doesn't it? Could be. Uh, here is... Definitely what appears to be a human bone, maybe arm or something, leg bone. Not sure. It was uh, something else. Yeah, the, there's definitely a few squatter mans uh, in the petroglyphs throughout this site. Uh, some much better examples um, in the areas that are cordoned off that I wasn't able to access on this trip, but that I will be going to see and document this summer. And it's just the scale and size of this site is awe inspiring. And, and this is like maybe 1% of it, of the overall site that, uh, you've seen so far probably not even and just on one side of the river where the south side uh badlands and runes look exponentially more intriguing it just it looks like runes it looks like a devastated, destroyed, melted former civilization. And I believe I'm um, presenting evidence 
supporting exactly that. Uh, it also looks like there's tunnels and caves and potential underground um, dwellings or rooms in the um, top portion cliffs or ridge line on the south bank as well. Definitely going to have to spend at least a day uh, on the south side when we go back this year. Just so many geological anomalies, to put it mildly. Oh, yeah, Gerald. You're going and you're coming. I'm going back with you. I'm like, this kind of looks a little bit like a pyramidal structure. Uh, definitely got what appears to be block work making it up. And that's what we see layered throughout all of these structures. Like, that's pretty pyramid-like right there. Very, very interesting suspect structure right here. And then possible astrological alignment there. Be interesting if the sun appears in the center of it uh, right now, uh, being just after the equinox. Uh, that most likely the time that it would be captured in there. Definitely looking pyramidal. And all of them with what appear to be these parallel uh, structured block segments. Oh, here I was digging out uh, the bone a bit, some of the bones. Uh, investigating, but left it out of respect for whoever, whatever uh, life that was before. All right, here's another prime site example of what appear to be uh, constructed blocks and a couple of potential faces. So, so here, now I can show specifically, here are the swallow nests. And you can see that these swallows are building their nests on the outside of the rock. They are not digging out, hollowing out little cave dwellings. They're doing the exact opposite, building outside of the rock structure, and thus not the ones responsible for all of the holes uh, throughout this site. Now the potential potential faces, also potential pareidolia, up to you. But this this side, I feel, is where the real gems are most likely hiding and hidden and probably uh, tunnels and chambers throughout uh, all of this, these structures and runes. Another interesting fact about writing on stone uh, badlands in this whole area was that it was where the indigenous native uh, resistance resided and that uh, the RCMP, the British and Canadian authorities, weren't able to ever conquer it or quell it and they had to build ranger posts and outposts uh, on both sides, the entrances and exits of these uh, badlands and these hoodoo sites uh, because they were unable to actually uh, go in and capture it by force. So thus 
also adds to the mystery as well as possibility of there being underground tunnels, chambers, hideouts, and dwellings uh, within this site. Again, you can see lots of very block-like structures and formations. And again, what must have been a heck of a cataclysm to wipe out and do that sort of damage. Maybe plasma catastrophe, maybe nuclear, uh, maybe solar, uh, maybe even just ocean tsunami and submerging. Not sure, but something really damaged to destroy this. Once again, more swallow nests clearly on the outside of the sandstone, not on the inside whatsoever. Yes, they're using nooks and crannies, but no, they're not digging. They're literally building on the outside. Uh, also, this led uh, into an underground area that seemed cavern quite large. Uh, but I wasn't wasn't gonna try to go in. Easily collapsed right next, kind of close to the river. Yeah, but still a decent distance up from the actual water table level. More very interesting anomalous geology and. What seems to be like either a melting, in a lot of areas, what appears to be kind of like dripping outer casing or layer or possible even just plaster cement applied to hide and cover up what could be clearly defined uh, natural builds. I'm not sure, clearly speculating there, but... It, it prevalent in some in most of the well-traveled areas of this park surprising it, there's just this weird drippy what looks like outer shell casing and then straight block sandstone blocks behind it it's very very suspect uh, to say the least uh, not really well, uh, kind of illustrated there. You can see, like, you have the lines, and then it, I guess maybe could just be eroded away. But lots of what looks like blocks throughout. And, like, look at this one. This, that looks like a straight wall and wall and wall. I, I, like, that looks like a building. Does it not? I, like, am I crazy here? Am I seeing things? Or does that actually look like a wall coming onto another wall that was wiped out and destroyed? Not sure, but very, very interesting site. Again, potential blocks. Very large ones there. I don't know, but very, very suspect site. And, of course, maybe not all, maybe just, uh, you know, portions could be constructed amongst natural uh, formations, or maybe it's all just was buildings, I don't know. 
Could be a combination of both. Whatever it is, there's definitely been uh, severe damage and thousands, if not tens of thousands of years of natural weathering on top of it, right? So, it just, it seems, see, like, look at this. This looks like the intact block and then over here was like melted away like blasted potentially could be like just 90 degree angle symmetry blocks here and then eroded corroded on this side like i'm not sure simply speculating let me know what you think and if you want to explore this site yourself, get a hold of me. And we are making plans to go back this summer and do a full, full exploration of this site and spend a couple days here at least. Uh, I'd like to spend a week even, but that might be a bit much. Who knows, though? Depends. Depends on the funds, really. Hopefully I can... Right? Like, that shot looked like Cash Cappadocia. Like, there's so many. Thank you. I'm glad others also see it because I see it all over this site. It's, it's crazy. and as you can see here like i'm barely coming up like maybe 15 20 percent height of these some of these structures and there's other areas where they're like double the size it, it's just it's such a wild weird wondrous mysterious spot location and it, it just it goes on for literally uh 100 kilometers i believe throughout And every which way you look, there's just massively anomalous geology. Takes the breath away every time. Uh, can't wait to get back here or back there. Uh, hopefully, uh, in June, coming up in just a couple months, three months' time. Um, depends on my financial situation. Uh, hopefully, I'm able to find some more permanent work here ASAP. Uh, currently, trying to find me a job. My last job company uh, shut down, went bankrupt. Government just uh, the marijuana industry, the legal cannabis, they just the most ridiculous rules and regulations I've ever seen, and it uh, end up costing my employer his company. Oh, Calix, thank you for the support. Continued support, I should say. Always appreciated. Everything helps. Everything adds up in the end. But as continue looking, like, so there, that, that shot showing what actually appears to be some legitimate erosion here compared to everything else. And so this is the top stone. And then all the others 
it's sandstone blocks. It's not eroding like that. You can see it, clearly see blockage. Ah, and another video, okay. The videos continue, and I will be um, uploading most of these to uh, my short section of my channel. Some of them already up, but most of them I have yet to. I kind of tend to lean tend to agree with Raycar. I suspect it was plasma that originally like melted, scorched, uh, vitrified a lot of uh, the stone that we see. Uh, and then most likely after that event was the um, tsunami great flood cataclysm I, I i suspect there was multiple there's been many different cataclysms throughout uh earth's history and i personally subscribe and believe in the five eras uh theory or um i guess native legends as well but that the five suns or the five ages of man are however it goes, but that there's been several uh, different cataclysms throughout Earth's history. There we go. Just the straight lines over and over and over in these sites, like it just... I don't see nature doing that. Like it, it looks like the ruins of East Asia, of Turkey, of throughout Pakistan, throughout Afghanistan, throughout Iran and Syria. We see stuff like this all over and they're called former castles and forts and cities and then they find like 10 story deep uh cities underneath these the sites in turkey that look just like this and matt it would of course like these are I guess many of the blocks essentially are on the um, Belbeck scale of megalithic size and tonnage. And then there's many like normal megalith size blocks as well. Oh, thank you, Reality. I will have to check that out. Oh. Uh, Do sorry, got sidetracked. Back to the photos. Just so anomalous in that they claim swallows made these holes when clearly I've shown that swallows make nap build nests on the outside not dig and burrow into the stone and like why would they burrow on ground level it makes zero sense more likely these are functional uh architecture and engineering uh, remnants of whatever the function of this site used to be, probably holding up poles, 
uh, roofs, walls, stuff like that. Most definitely, like you put a couple of uh, trees, I guess logs, um, branches across, and then you can easily uh, put hides, belts, roofs over your head, right? Tents, camping. Most likely... For the most recent inhabitors slash inheritors of this location. But just everywhere you look, it does not come across as natural. It it feels artificial and it looks artificial and it resembles so many other megalithic ancient sites and ruins around the world. Interesting. Very, very anomalous. Every which way you look right so here you see this almost looks like brickwork um almost here clearly what resembles block is this scorch scorching here potentially like could this easily could have been mud brick sand brick sandstone brick and block Resembling structures. It just if someone can explain in a rational manner how natural erosion could create such a thing, and glad others saw faces in here too, right? Like, probably there's by my count, I counted over 50. Uh, different faces that I encountered and saw throughout uh, my explorations, my initial exploration of this site, and probably hundreds, if not thousands, throughout if they are actual faces and not pareidolia. But I think it's pareidolia at this point. It's just, it's layered. It's one, two, like all these straight parallel lines and sections. Like, it's almost terraced, but definitely appearing to be built structurally block by block, segment by segment not eroded into it just it doesn't make sense with the official narrative like look at that it just it's melted blocks uh, what else how else can this be described? Am I crazy? Eh, seeing some faces too, but I'll leave that up to all of you. What are we actually looking at? Like, how does nature 
just erode perfect parallel line segment after perfect parallel line segment after perfect parallel line segment and then 90 degree cracks between them like no like that the just that's not how it breaks that's not the cleavage of the sandstone like you don't have 90 degree, 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 90 degree segments, intersections everywhere. Like, it, just, it doesn't make sense. I believe. No wonder the kid, no wonder it's called a fairy chimney. Like, that is literally a chimney stack. Or looks like a chimney stack, at least. Are petrodactyls real? I think I encountered one. So I I don't know. I'm going to have to go with probably. I also see lion faces on several sections uh, of this site that I have shown so far. It seems to be a reoccurring theme at Writing Stone and, well, all over the world, really. Right? It's like, or... You know, instead of the oceans and land sinking and falling that much, maybe a giant tsunami could have carried the sea life into that lake and left it there. Potentially. Uh, yeah, sadly, I believe uh, that's, that uh, they do exist and they belong in jail or, well, they just don't belong at all because, well, yeah. Anyways, let's not get into that. Let's get back to the anomalous, anomalous. Writing on stone, Badlands. Petroglyphs, yeah, petroglyphs. Petroglyphs are real. Well, so they claim. But they do exist at this site. I tend to believe they're aging but who really knows it could be some faces up there definitely what looks like block like structure throughout just almost resembles some of like the uh, Aztec Mayan runes in the jungles, too, a little bit like that last one, like this sort of structures. I don't know. Very, very anomalous geology, to say the least. Yeah, I pretty much see faces in every picture, but how about my face? Ah, that's kind of funny. All right. I wish the sound worked. Hmm. 
Hmm. Maybe. Since this is a 10 minute video, I'm going to try reloading it to see if the sound actually works or if I can get the sound to actually work. Uh, let's see. Please let me know if you can hear the sound this time. No, doesn't appear to be the case. No, no sound still. Huh. Weird. Well, that sucks that can't hear the sound, but we will continue anyways. Continue on. It's, it was just such a wild, fun experience to be able to traverse through and explore just a, a portion of this. It was absolutely epic. Just the scope and size. You can't stress enough that these videos do not do it justice. And the actual size of these different Badlands rune structures. Uh, I guess they call them hoodoos. But... It, it needs it needs way way more study research excavation and exploration of which I plan to be a part of and go back to this summer uh, and it will be a YouTube meetup so anybody and everybody is welcome to join us right like I do I, I feel that there are what appears to be some scoop marks in some of these stones and like the holes I've, I've stated several times their official story that the swallows make the holes is bs i do not believe that at all the swallows build nests on the outside and how the heck can water pool in those areas to swirl it's kind of impossible thus it has to be human made somehow And like, just look at, like, it's truly wild, anomalous, awe-inspiring sight. Oh, yeah, like, they just, ah, I'm trying to pause it. Right there, like you can see several layers, lines of what appear to be blocks. Every which way. Like, I, I just don't understand how this could form naturally. And the similarities to Cappadocia, Cappadocia, like, look at that. That's that block it. Like, those are blocks. Uh, that, that's that's a block. Um, no, no. We'll go back to that way. All right. Continue. Clearly blocks. And potentially some of the holes could be for like poles, uh, 
for logs or something to like brace for making walls and roofs and structures by the most recent inhabitants, uh, not the original civilization that would have constructed all of this. And like, look, like it's just block after block after block. Like, It doesn't make sense. And beams, exactly. Exactly, Debbie. Welcome, Debbie. So, if you want to come explore, get a hold of me, and June or July, we will be going back here. And it's like, what's actually buried in the hill and beneath all of this? Because they are huge. And yes, many could, many of the larger ones definitely could be windows. Many different pyramidal and cone uh, structures as well. Shapes and well, oh, looks like another face potentially. Oops. Oh, come on. There we go. Sorry for the uh, slow buffering and skipping video. Sadly, my for some reason, my um, what do you call it? The internet um, bandwidth is really sucking lately. I don't don't get it. Don't understand why. It's like I'm using the exact same software, the exact same hardware. And yet, it doesn't work like it used to. I don't know. But. Make and do. Make and do. That's all we can do. There we go. And I also have to stress, like, just the smallest, like, little portion uh, of this site I was able to explore. Uh, there's literally 100 kil more kilometers of this amazingness, anomalous, ridiculous, mesmerizing site it's in formations and the ridges on the opposite the southern bank of the river uh seem to be the most anomalous and yeah you for some reason it is a no drone fly zone yes that is correct this epic amazing quote unquote natural site is a new drone zone why probably because they don't want more evidence being documented of what is really here <laughs> that's my guess but i did take my drone out there to try to uh, operate it for the first time and then like as i brought it out they were like, nope, no drones, and pointed to the signs, and I had to put it away, and still, still waiting to use my drone, but plenty of sites to go to this summer with it. And maybe, depend. it all depends on the software, right? Because it's like, 
the no drone zones, they literally, because it's all GPS programmed and stuff now, the government's able to block the drones from flying from even entering these zones like you can physically take the drone there set it up hit power and it won't fly because they've literally blocked it but that said possibly on the southern side or the eastern or western edges of the site that aren't part of the official park yes i will be trespassing am i willing to do it Probably just for all of you. But uh, point being, when there's a will, there's a way. We will try to get some drone footage of this place this summer. Uh, I didn't do it on my day trip down there this past year, though. Ooh, then it's like, if I upload it, am I going to get a huge fine and charges? Because they can be like, hey, look, there's the evidence. That's an interesting one. I'm going to have to ponder on that. But for now, we got this footage. And just from it, I think it gives a pretty good, clear impression of what this site actually is. And it is not what they claim it is, that's for sure. Another pyramidal-looking structure. And every which way you go, you see blocks and oftentimes faces and animal characters as well into uh, the quote-unquote natural rock formations. Definitely not remnants of a former wiped out cataclysm society, civilization. All right, that's where this video ends. All right, back to the pictures. This one. So Cappadocia like. Like, how is that not a megalithic structure? I just, I don't, I don't get how that is geology. It looks like potential geopolymer, definitely polygonal, but like this looks like anywhere in the Middle East or Asia, a megalithic rune or site. Yeah. Oh my God, is it not? Oh God, I thought I was sharing the pictures the whole time and it wasn't. That's whack. All right. Well, how about now? All right. Sorry about that. Okay. Now that we got the picture back up, how? Is this? Sorry, it was. Was it this one? Yeah, this one I was looking at earlier. While I was talking, you can see what the hell I was talking about. There we go. Uh, how is that not a megalithic wall? Like, I just. 
It makes no sense. Claim this is natural. Like, it looks like anywhere in Asia, anywhere in the Middle East, Africa, or even South America, any site like this, clearly megalithic, stacked, former civilization. This potential face could be potential sphinx, maybe. I don't know. Yeah. Something. It appears polygonal. Like these all definitely could be large enough to be windows within the structure. Like, that's like five to seven stories tall, easily. Like, these are huge, huge structures and heights. Like, like that looks like runes. This looks like runes. And, like, that looks like a door. Clearly looks like a door. Uh, that one could be a door. That could be a door. That could be a door. Windows throughout. Yeah, or homes for little people. There's legends of little people living in here. Like, and what the heck is that? Like, what is that? Like, what actually is this? Like, like, what the actual F is that? Like, so weird. Like, what are we actually looking at? I, I don't know, but I want to go back and I want to find out. Cause that that ain't normal. I like look at this. What actually are we looking at? other than definite runes. Like, wonder what, what's in there. Wonder what's in here. That's, it looks like your classic, classic Afghanistan mountain village. Like, that, that's what that looks like. It looks like you're going to find a bunch of Taliban or dwarves or hobbits living in tunnels in there. That, that's, that's what that, the feel it gives, right? And Maybe some giants up above in the background.
Not normal at all. About as anomalous of a sight as you can come across. Like, are these giants? Giants blocks? I'm not sure. I want to find out. I'm going back. Very A-frame, pyramidal-like amongst many of the structures. Very, very suspect to say the least. They definitely leave hints in the lies, not sure. Just it's fascinating. And I'm going back, and I'm definitely taking the drone, and I'm pretty sure it's not going to let me fly over this area, but I'm definitely going to cross the river and sneak into this area. Uh, and then I might have to go further up or further down the river uh, to be able to fly the drone over certain areas. But hopefully those areas won't uh, be covered up and might actually show even more anomalous um, features. Right? Like, look at all of those holes. Like, what does that? It just... Be interesting to see how stick, like, how poles would stick out of the angles of each of those holes. And if they're actual foundation supports for buildings, potentially. It, just, it appears to be stacked block. I don't know if that's actually what it is, but sure what it looks like. Very, very interesting sight. Like lots of them resembling pyramid, the pyramidal structures. Like that's looking very pyramidy. That's looking pyramidy. That's looking pyramidy. That's looking like a pyramid almost. Like, what is up in here? pyramid -y stuff, blocks, megaliths. It has all the classic call signs of a megalithic site. Like, is that carvings? Are those, like, engravings on that? Like, what the heck is some of that? It's just weird. That's what we'll be going back to figure out. Piping? Like, I just, I don't know. I really don't know, but...
intrigues the heck out of me. Want to find out? Going back to explore more? Like, is this potentially scorched areas? Like, look at all this. There's normal sandstone, and then, like, all this black. Is that burnt? Looks like massive scorching on certain areas. Normal sandstone and what looks like scorched. Looks like massively scorched. Very, very suspect, to say the least. It is all extremely suspect. Like, are these guardians into a door there? Like man and woman almost? Kind of speculating and wishful thinking, but who knows? Worth checking out when I go back. And it's on my other camera. I really, really need to find the video of the cave I found in one of them uh that i was too afraid to go into and um i don't know are we looking at a face are we looking at another face another fit potentially doors and windows like doors inside to tunnels what it appears to be Look at those. Them look like some doors inside. And just absolutely ruined and devastated by something. Like, this looks like structures. Like, that looks like a house. Looks like doors. Windows throughout. I am definitely crossing the river to explore that area. But. I'm going to have to try to live stream it because who knows, maybe they're still inhabited and maybe it's not humans that live in there. Maybe that's why we're not told about the truth of these places. And maybe a dwarf, a fairy, a Sasquatch or something else is going to come. You know? Hopefully not the case and hopefully... Uh, Able to make it in and out alive. Always, always the goal. Don't get kidnapped by Sasquatch. Or the forest, or the little forest fellers, right? Interesting. Very interesting. Like, what the heck is this stuff? Like, Very, very suspect. Uh, 
Right, exactly. Pack some beef jerky to throw and divert to getting stormed by wild beasts. Like, of course they don't let you go over to this area. And of course they don't let you bring a drone to go check out this area. No, that's not allowed because, well, we don't want you, don't want you exploring nature because it's just natural geology. Potential giant ball. Just huge, absolutely huge. All right, Sasquatch must be from Saskatchewan. Good thing, kind of, yeah. Kind of, I think this is more west. I think this is middle Alberta, so not quite next to the Saskatchewan border here. But this does run for, I believe it's 60 miles, so 100 kilometers. Like this, ah, looks like ruins. Looks like the ruins of a former mega city. And everywhere, just evidence of block work and potential drilling and very anomalous geology very very anomalous geology clearly blocks blocks upon blocks I'd be depending on the angle, be kissing faces. Not sure. So lots of these I'm gonna have to go back and take pictures of with different sun angles throughout the day to see if they actually highlight facial features and thus are actually carved intended, not pareidolia that we see. And then, of course, they got barbed wire fence. And as soon as you have the barbed wire fence, you have even more anomalous geology and structures appearing, like instantly. Instantly, the no-go zone, it just, like, why the heck is this blurred? What the, like, why? I took this picture. Why is this certain area not focusing? That's weird. Very weird. Uh, oh, maybe it's in the foreground. No, but then why is that in focus? Why is this focused? It's even further away. It just doesn't make sense. Strange. But regardless, we see even more anomalous 
structures, formations, and geology as soon as it gets to the you cannot go here areas. Literally goes on for 40 or 50 kilometers that way and 40 or 50 kilometers the opposite way. Oh, yeah, let's see. Let me just... That one was decently an honest, but. Don't want you looking in there and definitely don't want you flying a drone over that, eh? Oh, it goes, right? Like, way more anomalous and suspect formations in the fenced off areas. Got the farmer with the windmill, supposedly, and the native with the deep bee. Very, very suspect formations indeed. Oh, there's my little dear friend I came across. Tunnels going in. And then across the river, even more anomalous structures. If you see buildings in faces, please type one in the chat. If you think it is just natural erosion, put two. Let me know what you think. What are we looking at? This naturally eroded geology here? Oh, just naturally. Eh? Nothing to it. Nothing to this at all. You would not want to bring your drone over it and fly it around and get video and explore this. No, that's endangering the rocks. How dare you fly a drone over this? Like, this is just what's visible to the public, right? Like, this site is so, so, so much larger. And this is only the tip of the metaphorical iceberg that I am showing you here. And I think I'm going to have to go back for a solid week so that I can uh, get in contact with the private uh, landowners next to the park and the boundaries 
and try to get permission to go through uh, their sites and land and the, or at least fly a drone over it because there are some serious treasures hiding to be found here, I believe. Many discoveries yet to come from, well, what you're looking at and what you're seeing. Uh, because they don't uh, let us go in there, supposedly. Hey, I like the three. Good to see you, Gold Coast. Yeah, I agree. There is no such thing as pareidolia. Uh, major fault line, not... I do not uh, believe so at all. Uh, zero earthquakes or uh, volcanoes in my area. It's supposedly one of the safest. I Raystar, I resistor, resistor. I do agree. There's most likely some red bricks in there somewhere. Like, how can there not be with what we're finding? And probably on the other side, other side of the river. More potential faces. And it's like they could be anthropomorphic. I don't think I'm pronouncing that right. Anyways, with half animal, half human as well, right? It doesn't have to just be straight human. Uh, we see in a lot of the different ancient megalithic sites, the statues and carvings can be a combination of human and animal. Has there been one structure that you've seen so far that doesn't look like it's made of blocks? Maybe that one. But then you got all these symmetric layers to it. Oh, then we get a closer look and then you see that it does still look like it's polygonal blocks. Just every little nook and cranny seems anomalous. I just can't fathom how nature could make something like this. Of course, the God created realm or a uh, simulation or program easily and would most likely create such a wonderful um unique but structured reality so maybe maybe we are just living in uh god's minecraft simulation reality right like now that would explain why everything is a block and brick. But I still somehow suspect that it's more than that. There's more to the story than us just living in God's Minecraft simulation. And that these are most likely the ruins of past, previous, pre 
historical memory civilizations of Earth. Cataclysms that wiped out the populations that made these a long, long, long ago. From the time before time is what we are looking at here. All right, another short with the dog. Oh, yeah, everyone. Everyone gets to be blue on my channels. Uh, I make everybody a moderator so that you can share and you can put links in and everyone else is able to also click on each other and you can go to each other's channels and subscribe while simultaneously not worrying that your opinion might trigger someone else's bias and get you deleted so you can't be deleted yeah that's that's why i do it oh wow look, like look at these things like, how how does nature do that does, does no it's not possible it's not it's not natural it's, There's more to these than what we are being told. Oh, there's Bernie's sweaty summer face. Let me tell you, it was hot that June day that I was there. And it was also smoky because last year, Alberta was on fire for five or six months at least it was ridiculous hopefully not the case this year but yeah uh it was ridiculously hot but beautiful and nice it was still june and it was horribly muggy from the forest fire smoke yet it's still like will forever be one of the most amazing trips I've ever uh, done and can't wait to go back there this year. If you're in uh, Western North America or if you're a wealthy benefactor and want to travel, feel free to come be a part of trip number two to Writing on Stone Park. So weird, so strange. And what was, what were all, what was all of this? What, what, who made it, when, why, and what was it? Because I just, Find it impossible to believe that it's natural. Oops. Oops. All right. I call it megalithic. But it was probably built by giants and little people. Yeah, they the governments truly did steal all of the badlands back in the early 1900s and cover them all up and Literally anything labeled a badland, I now believe, is most likely ancient ruins of a plasma or nuclear past catastrophe, as that's what it seems to be. 
and everything labeled Badlands is just beyond anomalous. Like this site. Like, look, that, that's a person there. So, for context, and like, this is not even a quarter of the way up the structure on how far down they go. It's, it's wild. These pictures aren't really doing justice to the scale of the size of this place and these formations. Like, could this some? Um, well, I I suspect there's most likely tunnels and possibly caverns and uh, hollow spaces within a lot of these structures. It just has to be. And like, pretty sure I see faces, and pretty sure. If you get the right sun angle on those faces, you will actually get shadow 3D definition of the face and the figure that is meant to be, and which are shown in it. Wait. Oh, come on, that. That just, it screams Cappadocia to me. Yeah, Naga Head, I definitely saw one of them. Oh, yeah. Got to be bigger stuff underground. Your brother had six fingers. Oh, snap. Was he a giant? He have two rows of teeth. I see blocks and I see faces and I see structures. And see, it seems like potentially some of these have like a concrete casing that's like put over to kind of hide the blockage, the, the blocks, the artificialness of the, of the site. It, like, again, speculating, going full conspiracy tinfoil hat there, but you got to see it to really appreciate uh, what I'm saying and what this site really is. And it's like, this is just a sand bank that's eroding away. Like, it's literally just sand that's eroding away. And then these are stone, sandstone. Very, very strange. It's a different rock here. And it's like... How it chips away, how the cleavage of it, how it fractures, and how it essentially erodes. And it's very different than what you're actually seeing making up and composing the majority of the structures. Right? A hundred percent it looks like a lot of the stone used with the Mexican uh pyramids i i agree like it it seems like it's half like mexican style megalithic stone and half like egyptian style megalithic stone 
more potential face. But yes, definitely like the Mexican pyramids, now that you mention it. Especially for all the top top structures in Drock compared to the bottom more exposed sandstone that looks more like the Egyptian block style. Uh, I'm trying to find example of that. See, like, what? Like, melty, eroded, and then blocks. Eroded blocks, corroded blocks, melted blocks. Potential geopolymer layers. I'm not sure. I'm not sure how it was made, but I'm pretty sure that it was made. Like, how do you get this exponentially harder, denser top stone on top of this softer sandstone? And yet they both remain. Like it, if it was eroded out, like it, that doesn't make sense. It just that's a logical fallacy. I just cannot wait to go back here. It is one of the most epic places with so many faces in the rocks that you will ever experience and come across. And like when you climb through these, there's tunnels that go into lots of them. And I, I, I was a bit afraid by myself. I'm not going to lie. Like, I didn't want to fall down and, like four stories of uh, cliff and tunnel to like break a leg and be stuck. And, you know, that's why I'm trying to get uh, some of you lovely souls to join me on the next one so we can go further in it. Go higher, go deeper, uh, go for longer, and actually find the real hidden secrets within this place because there are many that i can guarantee it's like this is a plateau and then it's like there's straight like grog it's just it's the weirdest formations and like you can see like this is land and then it like literally goes Drops down x two three times distant like uh, hard to explain. It's just it's so strange, so abnormal. And super intriguing. And so here is the beach on the river and it's the path into the campground in here. And big piece of trailers, cars and tents. It's really nice, like big trees, nice campsites. Highly recommend the place and highly recommend you join myself and hopefully Gerald. And the rest of us that are going to make it there. That's the people. That's the size. And then, like, this just drops straight down in its river, like, below. But, like, it's a few hundred feet, probably, from top to bottom. At least two, 250 minimum. Just every angle, every picture, every area. 
fascinating anomalous and looking like something different than what we are told that it is. So strange, so very, very block break strange. Like, it's just now, like, it's a stone placed on top of a bunch of blocks. Like, how else? This does make sense. Oh, they're definitely from a different time. And uh, Omak, Alberta, Canada, Stonehenge is pretty close by to this site. Uh, I will also be going there this summer, hopefully, if I'm able to raise the funds. So if anybody is able to help donate and help get me there, it is appreciated. Uh, the more... It gives the more places I will be able to go to. And Omak is on the list. Omak, uh, Canada's Stonehenge, a medicine wheel, star calendar, astrological calendar, uh, dated to 4500 BC, 6500 year age minimum, uh, close by uh, to this site and the Medicine Hat, Badland Guardians, Red Rock Cooley. Um, all here within southern Alberta, very close by. But each a day's trip with uh, fuel, gas, traveling, and all the other expenses involved with it, it adds up very quick. Just Seems like it's all blocks. Pretty blocky to me. Polygonal megalithic block work? I suspect so. I suspect so. Potential sphinx or space. Like, it's got to be a massive megalithic site. Like, I just, I don't see it being anything but that at this point. Uh, so that picture is not in focus. Face potentially, face potentially, dolom potentially. Like, even these, you can see, like they look like mud brick. Looks like mud brick, mud brick block, mud brick block. Everywhere, just blocks and blocks and blocks like block stones more block stones more block stones blocks upon blocks of blocks of stone weeping rock in turkey i will have to take a look i don't think i've seen that like does this not look like bricks Mud brick. And then potentially covered up, painted or something to 
make it not look like what it is. Like it's kind of pretty glossy, right? Like for mud brick sandstone, pretty glossy. Was it painted to cover up what it actually is? Like that looks gloopy and gloppy. I suspect so. Very, very interesting site. Uh, someone should send this to John Levi to take a look at. Hey, eh? like, you want some melted buildings? I got you some melted buildings. Right there. We got blocks, we got bricks, and we got potentially melted buildings right here. Let me tell you what. Here's your like Egyptian looking sandstone blocks, of course. Very melted, very vitrified, potentially. Oh, here's a little path down to the river. And then what looks like Cappadocia across the water. Literally looks like the Cappadocian freaking mountain hill cities. Pretty sure that's what you're looking at. Interesting overhang up there. Interesting giant bolt megalith there, monolith potentially. Just wild. Very, very suspect. Very suspect. Look at that. And this. And this. And that. And that. And all of that. Touch your face. Like someone be living in there at some point. If not still living in there. Like are we looking at little Dwarf Hobbit apartment complexes. Like, could be. I don't know. Lots of legends of fairies and dwarfs and little people. That looks like little people hotel. Like, there's your little people of like uh, balcony, like got a nice balcony, some windows, more windows. Oh. And then maybe your giants live back in there. Run there. Oh, oh more Bernie. Oh, is it playing? Oh, oh, there we go. Uh, 
Uh, so anomalous. Why was I panning so quickly? Slow down, Bernie. Sorry. Put it back. Try to pause it. What up here? Like that one just that boggles my mind a bit. That's got face, windows, pyramid. Ah, there we go. Right there. Like that looks like a roof of some sort a definite building like what an outcrop but just that i gotta go investigate all of this i gotta go investigate like look at this stuff Something, somebody living there. Again, the scale and magnitude of the size of those structures and formations, uh, not given justice whatsoever. And here we got a little bit of the campground, a little bit more of the Milk River. And it's across the river that we need to go. We need to go explore this place. We need to find out what actually lives. What is that? That one just keeps getting me in this one. Very, very suspect formation. I see faces, I see pyramids, I see windows, I see buildings, I see blocks and roofs. What else can you call it? Very, very suspect, to say the least. Very strange. Peculiar, peculiar formations. That's all it is. See that? That could be natural. Although it could be 
freaking blah. But then above, above, we see what doesn't appear to be natural. And appears to be blocks everywhere. Like, it looks like it's blocks and then, like, this melted, vitrified, or cement cast casing. One or the other, or possibly both simultaneously? Not sure. Very suspect, to say the least. Yeah, it's clearly natural. But then this, that could be a foundation, and who knows what's behind it. Just so suspect. So strange and weird. Like, do we got a pagoda there? Tough to fathom what we're even looking at. Like, are these like skeletons of giants? I don't know. Probably not, but maybe. Very strange. And then it's like, what? what is tucked back up here right like this is a channel in and then you've got a whole big formation back there that's hidden and not allowed to be seen that looks way more suspect some of the caves on more block like more megalithic giant block But uh, it's on the edge. Want to see down in there? There. Like, what is down in here? Another possible face. What the heck is that? Ruined civilization, I suspect. The ruins of past, former civilizations. To be more precise. Because that's the only thing that really makes sense when taking a closer look at what we see here just the symmetry is it's not natural. It looks burnt. It looks roasted, scorched in many areas. And then, so here you see, right, like black scorching kind of on the outsides. And then this vitrified, dusted, eroding from the top down, right? Like, I'm like, look at that. It looks like a freaking pagoda. Where are these giant rock megalithic homes at some point in time? I suspect so.
Thanks. Here's like several walls. There you go. Looks like walls. And one more time to illustrate, all of these are swift nests. Those are the bird nests built out of mud on the outside of the cliff face, the outside of the rock. All right, they're building them out. They're not digging these holes. They're not burrowing in. The birds aren't going in and out of these holes whatsoever. No, they're building exterior mud nests that they go into. Not burrowing into the rock. So the holes are not made by birds. That is a straight up lock. See a bunch of holes here? You don't see birds in them. The birds are all going in and out of their exterior nests. Again, close up of the swallow nests. All the swallow nests. More right there. A couple more right there. A whole bunch through here. Under ledges, yep. Yeah. On the cliff face, yep. Yeah. But burrowing, no. Into the stone, no. They're on the outside and they're building out. Like, this is not swifts. Here's a couple of swifts. Here's a couple of swift nests. The holes, nothing to do with birds. And you don't even see birds necessarily build. Actually, maybe that's what a couple of these could be, are nests that they've made out of existing holes. But they're definitely not making the holes themselves. None of those are bird nests. What they are is anomalous geology. Couple of people. So this guy is getting kind of close to one of the fronts and you can see how oh, well, you can't even see the river. The river is way down and it goes around. So that's actually not a good reference. For scale, even the scale is just the magnitude and scale. It's just, it's ridiculous. Insane the actual size of these things. Yeah, it's got to be at least six, seven stories. And that, it doesn't even show the bottom or the base. But you can see these blocks all the way through. We got more burning. All right, enough of my face. Oh, the beautiful Milk River and such a beautiful sandy beach there, too. You want to come camping. Quantum Epic, good to see you. Troy, Gold Coast Lady, reality, not what you thought. Uh, WPG Enlightened, Mad. Catter, oh, good to see you. Sorry, boy, man, Sam. Uh, anybody just going through the burn eye chats? 
Sorry for those of you in the Crypto Alchemist. Give you a shout out next. But we shall continue the journey further. Shout out to my moms. There's mom sitting on the bench. I saw this set with my mom. And even mom by the end was like, Bernie, I think you're right. This is built, not natural. She was pointing out blocks left, right, and center. Oops. Come on. Is this the right one? We are at the right tab. Oh my god, I've been going for two hours and 22 minutes and 22 seconds exactly right now. Ain't that so? But uh, I was only planning on going for like an hour, and we're two hours, 22 minutes, 22 seconds in, and more now. All right, so Milk River, the Milk River Valley, and the different coolies, and we were here, the hoodoo field along here. Right, so you saw some of these hoodoos and you saw some of these structures across the river. And then there's literally all of those structures, all of these formations and structures, all of these, and way, way, way more that uh, aren't even on this map of how much there is. And look at how this is all in a straight line and then 90 degree like that seems artificial as does this straight line that continues like but how is that a, how do they claim it's river cut when it's straight and like there's the river but it keeps going straight all the way like and then it continues on up to and all through here and see, police coolie. They had to have the police uh, station to overlook and prevent the natives in the area um, that lived in these and were rebelling and, and fighting an insurgent out of these uh, structures, this area. They're habitation so this is how they claim their form if you believe it well that's on you right and there's all these layers that are just naturally there that it roads way through some of it but others it doesn't and that they don't actually slide off anywhere and like that's it doesn't look like that it's all like this Wheatgrass Hills. And then I'm showing the petroglyphs back in the day, I guess. And look at that. Look at how far are we go. Oh, okay. So... Maybe my 100 kilometers is a little off. Maybe it's 100 kilometers of path because apparently it's only like 15 kilometers. So got to be the path, the actual path, 100 kilometers of pathways that I misunderstood here. Interesting. All the teepees out in the open. You'd think they would be uh, utilizing some of the formations. Unless they didn't want white man seeing where they actually resided and were like, hey, just check out our teepees. Don't actually know about our underground cities. Maybe. Maybe. All right, 
right, well, we're coming up to two and a half hours. My God, it is freaking 7 a.m. God, I got to get to bed. The sun is rising. I must get to bed before the sun comes up or I shall turn to fire. Just kidding. I'm not actually a vampire. Just nocturnal. All right. Uh, you know. Oh, see, and look at that. We're actually, that was the last picture of Writing Stone. And then this is a pyramidal-looking hill coulee outside of uh, Writing on Stone. A uh, fair way, a little bit ways away. We'll just finish her off with that. And call it a day. Thank you all for watching. Thank you for being here. Oh, 60 of you are out. Good day. Wishing everyone a blessed Sunday or Monday, I guess now, if you're in New Zealand and Australia. Or is it still Sunday? Not sure. Oh, I guess, no. Yeah, no, it's still Sunday. All right. Well, if you're watching this at a later time, have a blessed week. Thank you all for being here. Thank you for your support. And... If you want to support me financially to help me get me back to explore more of these places, everything helps. And also, if you want to partake, uh, get a hold of me for the planning, and it'll be worth the trip. Thank you all, and we'll see you on the next one.